As fans of Mike Tanay and the WCW Luchadors know, Silver King is deceptively stocky. Hey folks, I'm Sirius JG. Welcome back to Let's Play Nile. Uh, we have been uh, working diligently to clear this mine of its dangerous enemies and poison spewing demonic rocks. I'm pretty sure I could have dropped from this height safely, but I wasn't 100% sure, so I didn't see any reason to take the risk. So, areas that I have not explored are... Well, I don't think I can explore here. I think this is a invitation to death. I feel like there might be more stuff that I could do in this direction. Although I'm not positive. There was definitely a path that I could take... Uh, that I think we will, our next thing that we will explore is over this way. A, uh... Oh, I'll turn it around now. I'm not quite where I thought I was. Uh, yeah, it's over here. We head up this ladder. There's a path here that I'm pretty sure we haven't explored yet. Or is this going back? Oh, no. This is how we got... This is kind of how we came in, isn't it? Well, I mean, the Path of Wisdom might lie in hitting that shrine again. But, um... I'm going to see if we can advance a bit further without respawning all the enemies. So, really, we got to find a way to advance here. Uh, in this direction. And these paths are... They have little breaks in just the right spots where I don't see how we can do it. But I feel like some fancy maneuvering might be in order. Like, if I were to... Okay, one thing we haven't done yet is jump down here. But I missed it. Ooh, and I took some damage for it. Shit. Maybe I can go further here? No, I feel like we explored over here. Well, you know what? That's the platform I was trying to hop down to, and that doesn't get me any closer anyway. So there must be something going on in one of these ground level areas that will get me further along. Here we go. I don't think we've been all the way over here. Or we have. I don't know what I'm talking about. Or we haven't been over there, but it's still not the answer. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. Yeah, the fact that new enemies are showing up is a good sign. I was blocking game. Alright, take an elixir and move on. Oh, there's a treasure chest down there, so you do want to fall down there. But I just missed it. Okay, well the next time we're back over there, I'll, I'll give it another shot. Here's one of you fellers. Approach closely in case there's enemies nearby. Could all my back that way, little fella. Good man yourself. Alright. Here's a dude that we killed at range because I didn't want to mess with him. I didn't want him messing with us while I was fighting uh, Yokai. Oh, that guy's got vagina phobia. There's a, I mean, I, that was a stupid made up term, but there is a term for people who are, um, who have a phobia about the, uh, female organs. And there's one for, you know, people who have a phobia of the male organs as well. So, <laughs> monster coming out of the hole. Thinking now of the Pink Floyd, um, film where the, there's a flower that looks suspiciously like. It's supposed to represent a male and a flower that looks suspicious like female kind of eats it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there are some issues. <laughs> I 
Where's a yokai guarding this door? But if we can get rid of it, we've got a shortcut. No. Yeah. TCB, baby. All right. Open up this door. Whatever this Lord of the Maori, the Maori has to say to us, he better be pretty fucking useful. Going to a lot of trouble to talk to this guy, who's not the actual Lord. Probably turns out that he is, and he's pretending he's not, just to make sure that you would treat him with the same. See, how do I, how do I do that jump? Then I wonder. Because I'm just taking. Like, every attempt is just leading to me taking a little bit of damage. There's a real good chance that whatever I get for falling over there isn't going to be worth it anyway. But now that I'm back here, I feel compelled to try. But, um... Smart thing would probably be just to ignore it and move on. I don't see a button that you can use to. I'm not aware of any button that you can use to grab on or something. And it looks like any other direction you could run from, you would fall the same way. It's like. The platform above stretches across its whole length. You'd have to run at it from over there. So, I don't know. If anybody knows how to get to that treasure chest, uh, let me know in the comments. I can come back and try again another day. I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to sweat it right now, though. I'm going to move on. it's possible to reach from over here. But you see, if you could get onto this platform, which I don't see where you could anyway, it's... Yeah. Feels like you'd have to somehow... I don't... I'm not familiar with a way to run and jump. Anyways, here's the door, which means that if we have to retreat to that Kadama Shrine, we can just get right back to here easy, which is nice. I like the way that making progress in the levels occasionally enables you to create a shortcut for future runs. And by future runs, I mean if you need to backtrack. Not, not like the next time I play this level from scratch, all that stuff will be unlocked, but you know what I mean. It's extremely helpful. If I decided I wanted a power level here, I could get all the shortcuts activated and then backtrack to Kadama Shrines and only kill the big the enemies that are worth the effort. So we've got a new poison field to deal with. Doesn't look like I've got a... Uh, on whatever our uh, vicious enemy is from here. And by vicious enemy, I mean rock that creates poison. I'm the rock, and I'm going to create poison. If you smell it, la 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 I suppose if you had really high poison resistance, you could just wander around and explore at the ground level. That would be interesting for sure. Seems like... Oh, wait, I know where I am. I don't really want to... don't want to be there. Yeah, I got a bit turned around. Um... Okay, so this is a dead end, eh? Then this would seem to have to be the way.
but it just leads you to... I can drop into the middle of a poison area where I have no idea how to proceed safely. I could jump off of this and use my axe to try to land safely. And then run for that ladder. It's coming over here is not going to allow me to progress. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do? try it. Oh, this is the end of the level. Wasn't necessarily expecting that. I'm going to assume poison doesn't hurt these guys. Okay. I kind of want to get up the level. Seems like it would be a good idea to get up a level. smart way to do this is, but I need to start using some of this stuff. I'm paralyzed. Alright. Get away from it for a minute. So, not talking that much, trying to concentrate here. Oh, you're still kicking him. I should have figured you'd still be kicking him. Again, hate that. Did it get health back? I was trying to block, but maybe against a parallel shot, that wasn't a good idea. Yeah, it might be time to just bust out some super kill attack. Well, it's a good thing I was here, huh? Take care of this business. So that was, um... I'm not sure that I quite ever figured out the trick of that. I think I just evaded and used healing items enough to survive, really. But, uh, that's okay. Like, if there's a real trick to doing that boss fight the right way, don't know that I ever quite figured it out. I'm sure we missed some of uh, the Adama Odama fellas, but, you know, that's what second playthroughs for additional rewards are for. So. 
Just beating a boss on the first try always feels pretty good in this game. Even if I am overleveled. I guess this guy just ain't gonna get voice acted, huh? Thank you for taking care of that business in Owani me. Now we should be able to resume our mining. I would much appreciate it if you didn't tell anyone what you saw down there. Keep it to yourself, and I can assure you that the Maori clan will be glad to honor Master Hanzo's request, for as long as it remains advantageous for us to do so. Well, that's a hell of a promise. If you wish for further assistance from the Maori clan, I suggest you go see Kobayakawa Hideaki. What do you mean by further assistance? You mean any assistance? Initial assistance? So we got the Usurpers Kabuto, uh, Dion Jin Sake, and... Uh, Imorogi branch. That's a hell of a thing. So if we were to do this mission again, we would get the same rewards, it looks like. Oh, we got seven out of nine of them, so it wasn't bad. Um, we can do a separate mission, a sub-mission here, which is higher level. Um, Twilight missions don't seem to be ones that we're allowed to attempt because what I've discovered is it's actually kind of unusual or lucky that we got to do a Twilight mission at all because you have to clear the original plot mission whose map has been ramped up to Twilight difficulty before you're allowed to do the Twilight mission. So we haven't done a Defiled Holy Mountain. We haven't done Memories of Death Lilies, so we can't do either of these. Now the ocean roars again is the next main story mission. And the question for me becomes, do I want to start another main story mission right now? Don't have that much time left in the video. Oh, we could do another sub-mission. And it would give us two different guardian spirits, young ninja's locks, and highest quality iron kozane times four. What is this one? Oh, it's Okatsu again. Apparently yokai are running wild in the ruins between the mountains. Understand that the ruins originally housed three divine items, each with its own god. Normally, an area dedicated to the gods remains pure forever. Something untoward must be... Oh, sorry. I lost my place entirely. I just kind of glanced at my timer. Something untowards might have happened in this case. If we wait until the villagers are harmed, it will be too late. Can I ask you to take care of this problem? Um... Oh, and there are actually four uh, Odama, Kadama, whatever they are, guys, to find. Level 31, A. Eh? The next story mission is harder. And, um... It's actually the easiest of the missions that's open to us. So let's try to do the Three Angry Gods submission. And get some more Guardian Spirits out of this. Because that'll give me another, um... Title anyway. Oh, I got another title. Do I have any prestige points to spend? No. Recently gained titles would be... Not here. Oh, Wheel Monk Cutter. Yeah, I do I do recall us getting that. Uh, let's see. One-Eyed Cutter was 20 points for killing 20. And then Hunter was for killing 40. This is for killing 20. So I'm probably... Probably have another wheel monk uh, thing building up. Yeah, wheel monk hunter. I wonder if a well, one-eyed cutter. Oh, one-eyed imps are separate from one-eyed. All right, whatever. Okay. All right. Well, we got a few minutes left in the video. Let's take a shot at three angry gods. I like the idea of. I think this this lady, considering the meet cute style of our first encounter with her, seems like she might be our love interest. Um, so I like the idea that doing missions for her is earning, um, earning points with her somehow, although I'm almost positive the game doesn't track anything like that. These ruins, located deep within the mountains and surrounded by sheer cliffs, are believed to have been constructed by a once powerful clan. Even after the clan's demise, its great shrine underground catacombs remain impressive. Oh, this is, I think this is going to be the same map that we did with that mission with Ginchio. So this isn't actually a new map at all. Indeed. Okay, so... Well, my whole thing was I was going to showcase this because I thought it was a new map, but... I no longer believe this is actually a new map. Oh, and I didn't buy new arrows to replace the arrows we used either. Silly me. 
Can we actually level up, bitches? We we either can or we're real close. Uh, ooh, we're not even as close as I thought. We've uh, yeah. Every every time you level up, it takes more points to level up than it did last time. That's the that's the deal. So he's already detected me. Some ranger guy. Okay. I thought there'd be a ranger guy up there because there was in the Ginchio version. Boy, and and now I already really missed the idea of having Ginchio to help us out in this mission. It was fun to have like a a helper. It was like I was following Mr. Rogers' advice. Are we gonna be a one-eyed dude? Ooh, a set of enemies, including an enemy type I've never seen before. Frankly, that might make that, since it was one of those one-time only spawn things, it might be worth going back and saving at the shrine just for that. I don't see any reason not to. I don't see us getting penalized for it. That one, one remnant guy will come back. Oh, it brought us pretty close to being able to level up, bitches. Ow. Yeah, I know you saw me, buddy. I don't give a shit. I'm a gangster. Alright. So I don't know what that enemy type is called, but I'm sure if I kill a certain number of them, I get a... a title for it, so... that'll be a thing to look forward to. Remember when you guys were the big, uh, scary, you only have to defeat us once bosses? Oh, shit. Shouldn't be making fun, because apparently I still can't handle you guys. I got a replacement for the elixir that I wasted, so it's okay. Having all sorts of issues with my uh, sound. Okay. So, in, so we want to actually look for uh, the little green fellas, guitar room on. That is a move that you can learn with the axe that I have not played with yet. So it seems like that's exactly how it would go. You would just get blocked and then run out of stamina. Yeah, it's kind of made to look silly. Elephant's trunk kabuto. So that's a thing. Oh, didn't notice that you were circular. Oh, good. Fire ambulance. Well, I guess the fire damage is just in addition to regular damage, so getting hit with the fire status on your weapon and then attacking one of those guys just means you don't do additional damage because they're immune to fire. It's not like you heal them, so... That was the thing I was wondering about, and I guess now we know. So, I remember the quickest and easiest way to beat this mission when you were helping Ginchio search for an item, like a, a present for uh, Munushige. So, if it's the same place, then I... Ah, damn it. I, I'm bragging about remembering that, and yet, despite getting killed 800 times there... Oh, I recognize the name Sweaty... What's this? Matutsu, whatever. 
So I was bragging about what I did remember, and then I wandered into the same fire trap that we kept getting surprised by every single time. Even though there was no good reason to get surprised by it after the first time you were hit by it. Oh, actually, yeah, no, the, the fastest path is to... Although eventually I gotta go through and f here and find all the green feathers. But the fastest path is actually go up here, ignore the room itself, and go off to the left. And there's a little path going up. The question here is, can I fight you guys one on one? Somebody over there is shooting at me. So I guess I do need to go deal with them after all. Or I'll just have a constant annoyance. There are titles you get for defeating uh, human enemies using certain weapon types. But the skeletons don't count. So in fact... You earn titles for killing a certain number of skeletons. Doing it with like a bow doesn't help you. Damn it, JG. Keep fucking this up. You deserved it. If I kick this down, although I don't know that there's a real good reason to. Don't feel the need to do a full exploration of this level uh, on screen since, again, when I took this mission on, I thought it was going to be a whole new map, and it's not. Now that I'm all the way up here, this might be just as fast, but I'm still going to go back and do what I considered the shortcut version of this level. here that I could kill. Certainly looks to be a treasure of some kind over there, but yeah, there's Amarita. But mostly I just want to get up over here. Somebody detected me out there, but they're, they're a ranged person. Alright, let's just ignore them. Hopefully they can't shoot far enough to hit me over here. Because this was the fastest way to be what you needed to do before. Although I'm no longer sure what we're... I don't remember what we're actually trying to do. According to, uh, what's-her-face Ninja Lady Okatsu. But if we can knock this out in one video, that would be pretty cool. If we can't, hopefully we can at least... Um at least find some kind of clue as to how this level is supposed to end. down, so we know we've got a way to get back up. Yeah, I think in the previously, just getting to here wins the level. Now at least we've got a way to get back up and out of this little maze. Well, it's 
become apparent that I don't quite know how to wrap this level up, so let's uh, call it a video, and when we come back, I think I'll back out of this underground maze portion and explore all the overworld portions, as it were. Make sure that, like, going into that building that I intentionally avoided entering doesn't lead you directly to what's supposed to be the end of the level. Uh, my issue now is that if I finish this too, too quick, I won't really have uh, <laughs> enough content. I kind of want to wrap up my session, possibly. I don't really want to go into another story mission. Although, uh, maybe I'll, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Anyway, folks, when we come back, we will continue this mission that I didn't really intend to start on camera anyway, because now I feel like I owe it to show, to show you the end. But I'm also a, a fashionista. That's my most recent trophy, whatever the hell that means. Mysterious JG, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Buh bye bye